Hey everyone, and welcome back to another Tuesday Tip, where in today's video, we're gonna be showing you how to put a gyro on a 14 inch bike. Before we do that, we need to run through everything you're gonna need, because if you have a brake set up already, that is a straight cable, you're gonna need a few things. So we'll start at the top and work our way down. So first, obviously, we're gonna need a lever, which we already have in this case. Second, we're going to need upper gyro cables. We got lucky and found a Fitz most upper rotor cables, 7.5 to 9.5 inch flatland cable. Older gyro cables that fit this bike perfectly. Huck, can you hand me that bud? Thanks. These are for Huck's bike. So after that, you're gonna come down and you're going to need a gyro plate, which is what Huck just handed me. Gyro plate goes under the stem. From there, you're gonna need your gyro. After that, you're gonna need your, man, about to hold, gyro tabs. Gyro tabs go into here on the frame. From there, you're in the home stretch and all you need is your lower cables. In this case, we've got normal Odyssey lower gyro cables. You're also going to need your straddle cable and setup and your brakes. So we have everything we need. Now we can get started by first taking off all of the current brake cable pieces, leaving on the straddle cable and left. All right, so we got everything off from the previous brake setup that we don't need. We're leaving the lever, the straddle cable setup. I've got the other piece in my pocket and the brakes. First things first is we're gonna put in the gyro tabs because these are little pieces that we wanna get in there because I don't wanna get everything together and then have to put them in last. So we're gonna throw these in now. The gyro tabs are pretty simple. You've got the tab, you've got the little screw that goes into the tab. All we're doing here is putting the tab into the frame like that and then screwing the screw into it. It's pretty cool that these we the peoples and these younger or bikes made for younger and smaller riders have the option to use gyro tabs. All right, next one. Same exact deal, just on the other side. They're not they're not side dependent. You just want to make sure that you get it in there and that it's tight so they don't fall out. And uh, in the background, you might see a wild huck in his desk. <laughs> funny all right so gyro tab is on now from here we're gonna put on our gyro plate and our gyro gyro is gonna go on first because it goes underneath of the gyro plate so the next thing that we need to do is take off our stem first thing we're gonna do is loosen the stem bolts because anytime you're messing with your stem taking it off adjusting it anything you're going to want to loosen the bolts before you loosen your compression cap and it's at this point that you want to grab your tire or fork on the front end because when you loosen this there's a chance that the uh, bars or the fork could fall out through the stem and onto the ground We got the bars and stem off of here. Next thing we need is our gyro, and then our gyro plate. And the gyro plate simply just slides on over the steer tube on the fork. Then we can grab our bar and stem again and throw it onto the fork and put our compression cap in so we no longer have to worry about dropping anything. Tighten this back up. It's a pretty straightforward and simple process whenever you're using off-the-shelf parts as well. So you wanna make sure that your gyro plate, because it's got things on both sides here, you wanna make sure that it is at the right angle, which would be parallel to your fork. It's something that's easier to see from the bottom side. But now you can see we've got our gyro on here. And the next thing that we need are some cables. So from here, things get 
pretty plug and play. We're just going to take our gyro cables. We're gonna take the end here. We're gonna put it up into the lever, just like any other cable. And we'll actually show that from the back side so you can see it a little better here. Come back up a little bit. Now we run it up into our barrel adjuster on our cable. Tighten that all the way in. You may find that it varies based on uh, your setup, whether you put your cables over through the middle of the crossbar or over top of the crossbar like this. It seems that this setup will be a little easier to set up like this potentially. This being a 14 inch bike, things are gonna be a little bit tight in here. But next we need to grab just kidding. We don't need to grab anything. What we're gonna do is <laughs> take the shorter one and put it on the closer side. The shorter one meaning one of these is shorter than the other. We're gonna take the shorter one and put it on the closer side because it doesn't have to travel as far. Tighten the barrel adjuster into your gyro plate. Then do the exact same thing on this side. I'm just gonna thread it all the way in here for now with the barrel adjusters bottomed out. Now we can put our cable ends into our gyro. Making sure everything is all good to go. Probably going to find with these upper cables that we have to use a lot of this adjustment because of the fact that this is a 14 inch bike and things are just going to be a little tight. All right, so next we need our lower gyro cables and the barrel adjusters that go with them. And because these Odyssey gyro cables come with two different barrel adjusters, they're not pre-installed. And as you can see here, this nut on here, it doesn't have a slot in it. So in order to put these barrel adjusters on, we have to take the nut all the way off of it put it onto the cable like this, then put the nut over the cable end and tighten it on like that. So we're gonna do the same thing with the other side. This is a bit of a candid off the wall video shoot today. Just doing it as freestyle as possible. So the next thing we're gonna do, these don't matter sidewise. We're just going to screw in the barrel adjuster to the gyro tabs. You may have to pull that plastic piece out if you have Odyssey ones because it goes up into the barrel adjuster. Makes it a little harder to rotate. We always start with these things bottomed out and then go from there. Now for the other side. Okay, and now we take a look down here. So we can see with these cables, we don't have a ton of room here, but we've got enough room that we can secure this to the frame somehow. And then we only need about an inch of housing between that and the bottom barrel adjuster. So the next thing I wanna do just to keep everything in place is fasten this brake cable to the frame. And the only thing that we have on hand that will work is some stickers. So we're gonna use these Woodward stickers temporarily to hold this in place. And then I'm going to put my ends of the cable here into the bottom of the gyro on both sides. There we go, pull on that. So now what we're gonna need to do we can see how much housing we need between this and that and we're just going to cut that we're gonna actually cut it a little long so you can see that we're gonna need because this this part here goes into that piece a little bit we're gonna need to cut it about an inch and a half ish to do that we've got our shout out to park tool cable cutters 
And what I'm gonna do is take my Allen wrenches. I'm gonna open up this hole with the Allen wrenches so that we have no unnecessary friction. So what we're gonna do now is take our cable end, slide it through this piece, and then we're gonna take it down and slide it through the barrel adjuster here on the bottom. We're gonna pull out our excess. So actually, I cut this a little too long. And this is all part of the process, it's trial and error. So we've got everything installed on here. The next thing that we need to do is grab our straddle cable hanger. We've got our straddle cable on here already. What we're going to do is come a little closer in here. We're gonna take our cable hanger, we're gonna put it onto the straddle cable. Then we're gonna put the straddle cable into the brake arm. Then we're gonna take our cable we're gonna find the hole in this bolt, and then we're gonna run our cable inner through that bolt and pull the excess out here. Now, before we go any further, we're just gonna tighten this a little bit so it doesn't fall off, but we're gonna loosen up this front barrel adjuster here enough to where once we tighten this in, we'll have brake pull, and you'll see what I mean here in a second. We don't actually have to loosen the nut, just that. Now what we're gonna do is grab our cable hanger, and we're gonna grab our excess, and we're gonna pull it forward as far as possible. When you pull this forward all the way, your brake pads are gonna touch your rim, which is what you want, and then you're gonna try to tighten this with the brake pads on the rim. And we're gonna grab the adjustable or a 10 in, 10 millimeter, and tighten this just so it doesn't move. So now we'll be able to loosen this barrel adjuster, or tighten this barrel adjuster back up, and we will have brake pull in the back. So moving on from there, we got to come to the front. We've got all this extra slack here. You can see pulling the brake lever all the way into the grip, we still barely get a brake pull. So we got to get rid of this somehow. Now to get rid of that, we need to adjust all of these barrel adjusters. The first one I'm going to start with is this one on the brake cables. I'm gonna loosen this out. I'm going to pull it all the way out just to see how far it actually will go, but I'm not going to keep it there. So that's all the way out. We definitely don't want it to be close to that. A few threads in. That feels safe. Now we'll do adjust at the lever. And this is what we were talking about earlier whenever we said that it's gonna require some adjustment because they don't exactly make gyro setups for these littler bikes yet. And if they do, we don't have it right now. So we're pretty close. You can see in the lever, there's a little bit of slack here. We can get rid of that at the gyro plate. This is the last place I usually like to adjust. We adjust both sides evenly. And now we've got brake pad. So it's not great yet. It's gonna need some adjusting, but we are getting there. So I'm gonna give everything adjusted and finalized. First things first though, we do wanna make sure that we tighten this piece down as much as we can because this is what is holding all of the brakes together right now. So from here, we're gonna have a little bit of adjusting to do to get things set up good. But I think we're well on our way to having a dialed brake set up. So we will come back when these things are completely done. You can watch my adjusting brakes videos if you wanna learn how to adjust these things and make them as dialed as possible. So we're on to the finishing touches here. I got everything adjusted. The brakes are pulling. Last thing we gotta do is cut off the excess here. Can't go backwards now. And then put on our cable end. Pinch it right here. Hopefully that's enough. And there we go. Gyro on a 14 inch bike. Huck, are you ready to ride it? Yeah! <laughs> well, that's going to be it. Hopefully it answered your questions. If you have more of them, leave them in the comments down below. And 
hopefully you guys enjoyed this or got enough use out of it. If you're new here or you haven't yet, you can hit the subscribe button down below. We'll see you tomorrow for another one. Thank you for watching.